morning guys from Whale Bear Street here in Wilderness. We've been for a week here in South Africa and that was the best place we stayed. And uh, unfortunately we've been, we are here only staying for one night. But this place was amazing. They thought about every detail, everything was just perfect. The view, the ocean outside, the room, everything perfect. Well, he's never been in Cameron before, but... <laughs> His name's Pedro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> he's sweet, but he's busy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he wants a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he, fortunately, he's diurnal, so he sleeps at night. Oh. But as soon as it starts getting light, he's up. Really? And he shouts, feed me, feed me, feed me. <laughs> and he, but he's good. He eats insects. Spiders, scorpions, cockroaches, oh. frogs, good. lizards, snakes, whatever. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? Ooh. Feed me, feed me! <laughs> feed me! Eden adventures to do kayaking and hiking. The problem is that uh, in wilderness, like in any activity here in South Africa, you need to pay for entering the national park, not only for an activity. So the activity costs like 120 runs, and entering the national park costs like 300 or 400. It's ridiculous price. So instead, the host of our accommodation suggested us to go to Herald's Bay and to show it us a point of a uh, hike, some uh, secret place. And here we are, <laughs> we found a place. He said it's gonna be a stunning, stunning view. By far it's very beautiful. Yeah. I so, really like it. Yeah, so uh, we found, we actually found the path where he said this would be. Let's find out where it takes take us. We walked across the bushes and the forest and now we revealed this stunning view. Look at that. Yeah. Herald's Bay. And maybe we'll see some uh, whales in the ocean. Who knows? Let's go. find this spot, look for uh, Herald's Bay, Gus Mayer Street and just continue forward and you will find the entrance to this spot. We arrived to Mosul Bay, I checked up in our hotel and we wanted to check out the zip line here in Mosul Bay. Uh, unfortunately, because the weather got worse, it's uh, a little bit cloudy and windy. Looks like it's closed. I hope it will be open tomorrow. And uh, if you can see on the side, it's saying that, that it is the longest over ocean zip line in the world. Looks like South Africans get some uh, thing with uh, setting records. 